If you're one of those who enjoyed watching football, doing fitness training or attending functions at Nachivubo Stadium, you may have to find another place in the near future. It appears the stadium may soon remain with just the pitch following the progressive leasing of its land over the years. Now NTV has learned that about six city tycoons have taken up or are gearing up to take up parts of Nachivubo Stadium land. Finance Committee Chairperson of the Stadium Board of Directors, Hajat Min Sakabanda, told NTV that although they had planned to develop the land around the stadium, they didn't have the money. That's why they decided to lease the land. Everything is not in the right order. That's why we started, we started looking for someone which has to assist us. Because even the pavilion is in a solid state. <laughs> Sources told NTV that all the plots surrounding the stadium, including the pavilion, have been leased off leaving only the pitch. It's now unclear where, for instance, football fans will sit to watch the games. City councillor for the Chisenyi area that hosts the stadium, Salim Uhuru, questions the procedure of leasing out the public land, saying it's shrouded in mystery. And which we condemn as leaders of Chisenyi, one, we condemn it, two, as a sportsman, because I'm uh, the pre vice president of UPBC, and we have a gym down here, I condemn that act, so I expect government to come out and save its own, uh, its own institution because it's, uh, we were ourselves selling it. But Minsa Kabanda insists that the board was transparent in leasing out the land. The act we are using was made by, by the parliament of Uganda. So we don't have the rights of selling, but we are out to make uh, a private partnership. State Minister for Sports Charles Bakabulindi expressed ignorance on the matter, saying the stadium is entirely under the Nachivubo Stadium Board. Yes. They go convinced, but the problem is that there is some people are mixing in their politics. It is the same that you are protecting you. Seconds are wanted to chase you. Now yes. you are being misled by people. Even this construction of the wall, perimeter wall, is the PPP arrangement whereby the investor, are you yes. getting me? Yes, Honorable. Constructs the wall and puts in his business because he cannot recoup his money from the mayor wall. Nachivo War Memorial Stadium was opened in 1st April 1923 with the first match played between Uganda Cups and the then Uganda National Football Team. A group of boxers and a Kampala Boxing Club protested the closure of their gym here. They threatened to do whatever it takes to keep the gym. Other public football grounds or study upcountry have similarly been leased out or sold off. More research all.